And this is, um, you may remember this if you've seen some of the other streams, but this was kind of the high level platform area, which was basically to get the um, user used to kind of high level areas and stuff like that. Now, the issue that I had with that was that, you know, I know clinic is supposed to be very clinical and all, but it was a bit too clinical, if you get my drift. So, um, I decided to make this area basically a little bit more soft looking, a little bit more kind of genteel. Now, I have got some bits that I'm probably going to need to take out at some point. Um, but basically, what I'm going to be doing during this kind of session and uh, you are obviously welcome to join in as much as you like is um, fleshing out this now I'm just going to go to my discord app because I also need to let people know on discord what I'm doing just in case because obviously I want to get more people to come in uh, blah, 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 blah. This is, just give me some words to say, read on uh, this but I'll quickly show you what I was looking at there. There's a bit of work by a friend of mine, just a nice fast kind of scene there and I really made some very pretty work. Nicely done, Jeff. Right. Just down broadcasting on twitch.tv slash now. Wait, wait, should keep them busy. Okay, now. That's such crap, isn't it? <coughs> okay, so one of the first things I need to do is when this was all just plain tile work, it wasn't so important about these, but that kind of is. Also, I want to probably look at separating out some of the uh, ceilings. Now, I want to look at this in particular. You see, kind of piece I've got here. Um, I want the player or user or whatever to obviously have consistency. So I'm going to go to my content. Now then, let's have a look first at some bricks. So <coughs> I was to stick an old brick clay design on there. Let's see how that looks. Nice, although it is also kind of a bit grungy. And sometimes you don't want grunge. That's a bit too modern. That is. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. And that's probably going to be too shiny. I'd imagine that is going to be too shiny. It's, ooh, so shiny. Uh, maybe. Let's have a look at it without. Let's see how it looks. Decisions, decisions, eh? Things I don't want it to. I mean, smooth marble actually does go with this, unfortunately. Okay, fine, let's have a look at the smooth marble. So there's a couple of ways it can do it, but the simplest way really is going to be just mass selecting these because there's no proximity select for these. Um, so when I'm selecting the pillars, I can't select one and then select all the pillars that are near that pillar and hope for the very, very best, etc. It doesn't happen. So the only thing really I can do is just go around slowly, manually selecting. And you'll notice I'm only selecting them at this height at the moment. Well, there's a reason for that. This will definitely allow me to see whether or not this looks like terrible. Which is important. Um, let's have a look through here as well. Just try and get these all done. I mean, the thing is, the look of this is really important, obviously, to the psych psychological feel of the um, overall project. You want the user to feel kind of safe comfortable and all that good stuff. And they're not going to, if they have all these conflicting same colours going on. And by the way, if you're new to um, my Twitch stream, 
and my kind of babbling ways that I'm doing it. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm Chris. It is good to meet you. I just want to make sure that nothing's going to basically pollute the other side, where I've got this much cleaner kind of office-like thing going on. Um, the thing is, obviously, some walls are going to share sides, and it's important for the client to have as comfortable an overall experience as possible, as far as I'm concerned. So, there's another one. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to go over here. Now, a lot of this is going to be Chris Connor's shit in, basically. I'm sorry, it is. But, uh, it's because we've kind of got to the point now in the project where a lot of it's a lot of the stuff's kind of been built for acrophobia. I mean we haven't even came close to starting on things like the uh, arachnophobia stuff. But um oh, did that just get moved. Okay, it did. See if something gets moved just by a slight amount, so I'll change this to one hundred. Um it'll basically relight itself. That's a good way of knowing that you've like dicked up, dude, you've messed up, it's time to do something else. Display two materials. Don't need to replace that one. Doop. Okay, so I'm just going down. And I realise this is obviously a really boring way of doing this, so... Okay, now I want to come in. Just, oh, there's one you see. I've got to constantly go around and just look for now don't be worried about using the starting assets by the way if you have to they come with Unreal Engine there's nothing wrong with them they are perfectly serviceable and I've adapted them many times myself what I may well do to be honest is adapt this one the oat uh, is slightly different because I can add like different tones and different shades and all sorts of cool things to it right now you may notice obviously that down here we have these different it's stretching down all the way down here these pillars um, now if I'm going to basically recolor these then I'm going to have to recolor them so I'll just select them <coughs> and again like I say I'm sorry if I bore on you but there are plenty of twitch channels out there where people are probably defeating Mario or you know, doing interesting things that may interest you more. If not, you know, come in. Ask questions. I know I shouldn't be saying, oh man, it's a bit boring doing this bit. I should be saying, yeah, this is rocket science. Ooh, and stuff. So anyway, just to kind of keep it going, um, the whole idea of clinic is that we're going to kind of immerse the user fully in the different things that make up his or her phobias. And the way this will work is that it's like a slow incremental build up psychologically with a lot of vocal coaching. Just getting a person used to, you know, small things and then building up slowly from there. It's um going to take time. It's not something that, you know, if you have a serious phobia, you can blaze through. You're not gonna go, Oh great, levels one to ten, I'm done, I'm all cured. Um, it's something you can take at your own pace. It's something that, you know, you can either have professional assistance using, or if you feel confident to try it on your own, you can just buy the software, plug it into your computer and your Oculus and just go through the exercises on a daily basis. Now, the actual software itself at the minute has been written and designed for Oculus. Um, I'll probably make a HTC Vive version. The Oculus ones are going to work out. Um, if you're interested in how big the development team is, it's me. Although I have had a lot of help from my wife, who this was actually initially developed for, and she still uses it and tests it. This is kind of how I knew it would work. Um, my wife has really quite bad acrophobia and uh, 
is compounded by a few other issues. And so this is, surprisingly, this has been, well, at first, let's say I had a few pitfalls. I didn't quite understand the best way to present heights as a kind of entertaining and at the same time suitable way of controlling phobias. But now it's, uh, yeah. So you work in small increments and you have to remember things like, you know, don't make it terrifying. I mean, one of the levels I built, you were literally kind of clinging to the side of a skyscraper while flocks of birds flew past you. Um, which seemed like a great idea, you know, to get used to being really high up. That can be a little bit overwhelming for the whole kind of, well, you know, if you know what a trigger warning is, that's like the biggest, <laughs> it just sets you straight off. So, now obviously, don't do it that way. And kind of start in a much more genteel manner. Which was good. Um, I mean, the first actual clinical level in this is just a small platform bridge with rails on either side. And using the Oculus headset, obviously, you have the power and ability to be able to kind of lean over the edge and look down and really interact with what's going on. Um, movements obviously controlled using the handsets and it's entirely functioned based on which direction you're standing. So you have to stand, you can't really sit. I mean if you're confined to like a chair or wheelchair or you have ambulatory problems then yes, yes of course you can sit. But uh, ideally you're going to stand up. And funnily enough it is effective. I mean I don't have much of a fear of heights, I don't. Um, you know, I really enjoy, if you're a fan of the Harry Potter films, you know, I don't live very far from where um, Hogwarts, they, they use Donald the Cathedral, I don't live very far from there at all. And as a kid, one of my favourite things was to go there every weekend, you could climb the tower, which is about three hundred dollars set. And, um, so anyway, I don't really have much of a kind of fear of heights, but you can simulate them very well with this. And I've done several times where it's kind of wow, that's high that I've water on you. Right, I'm going to have a look at these walls just to match them now. Because that one and that one is the same. That one's the same. That one's the same. Wow. Uh, that was just wood. Okay, that's kind of. So I'm going to pull up the old texture of these for that one. And just going to drop down. Okay, now let's have a quick look around from here and just see how the audience is. The lighting hasn't been baked. Oh, cheers, um, cheers, Zach. Hang on a second. I'm just going to get in there and just quickly have a walk around. Okay, and then you sort out the seam because it's getting patchy, and I'm going to drop into my window, probably on. Well, my twitch is twitch, 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 right? Twitch open. And so, probably. Oh, my god, my schmaz. And so. I can't see anything in the chat, Zach. Um, could you be a treasure and possibly repost it for me? So here's my dashboard. I'm still not used to the whole kind of twitchy thing, to be fair. So, in a second, I'm just going to get into my thing. There we go. Yeah, if you could possibly just uh, repost whatever was in whatever was in chat, that would be a good help. Okay, this is not helping. Okay. There, got it. Sweet thing. Right. 
Sorry, I'm just still thinking about the Twitch and the fucking new Dark Star at all. You think about it this time, I have to have one. This looks like a giant bowl hanging basically on a thing, which is. Ishi, ishi, boo. Let's have a look at it. Nah, sod it. I'm going to go with these great lamps. I quite like them. So, I will pull one up to there. Roughly. And. I need to get it into a good position. So I shall bring it halfway across here. Now I would like this to illuminate stuff and I think for this to work I'm gonna need a small array of static lights. So have you come up here, shall we? That need to be incredibly strong. But I do need to kind of be in the right place, if you know what I mean. And I put that there. And select this. I break it apart. And select the spotlight 156. Yep. Okay, so that's got an intensity of 1500, so I'll need <coughs> probably slightly less than that. So that's going to be static. Intensity of 1000. Because you don't want too intense, especially with uh, VR projects. Apparently, if the lightning's too intense, it can literally overwhelm the user. So I'll put that one there, straight on top. There's no way I'm using one for every single one of these lights. Would be well, it will be good. Okay, one here. How are you anyway, Z? I saw your nice piece of work you did, and uh, it was excellent. Hi viewers now, what's going on? Why am I so popular? Hi guys, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, good to see you. This is a clinical simulation being built for VR inside of Unreal Engine. And I am Chris, also known as Bloom. And I will be your maitre d' in this adventure. I'll move that one to there, I think. Now what I'm doing at the moment is I'm positioning these lights one atop the other. Now I'm only going to have two there. And I'm going to bring that another one to here and bring it straight up. The reason being that we'll get the kind of shadowing we need 
it won't be completely as accurate because we don't have every single lamp but it'll be accurate enough okay let's have a look and also the lighting is going to affect the ceiling which is really really important because we need to break up some of this patchiness so having a few of these up here is going to be a real help so I'm just going to go into here and just make sure every light bulb is selected fortunately even someone as colorblind as I am can see that the difference is the light bulb is slightly lit when you click on it ok control go that groups it if you use the 3ds max tool or most 3d apps I know grouping is good now we can see that that is more or less above that table, we'll just do that and I'm going to shift and drag make a friend for it just above that table and then another one over here just above this table and the good thing is the lighting from these will then come out into these hallways which is kind of what I want um, I think three is probably going to be all I need because they're going to kind of light things up pretty darn well. As you can see already, just with the basic simulation, it's removed a lot of the patchiness in the ceiling. Um, if I come down here, it'll try and simulate it as best it can. I just want to get a quick look and see how much lighting I can expect down here. Now you can see that I'm getting a wee bit of lag. That's obviously because there's lights and stuff going on here, like so. Um, now I've got some modern instances of lights going on over there on the walls, so I may have to get rid of some of these. Because they're not really fitting into the whole theme of things. Now I can have some lower down, okay that's fine. You know, have got the user looking down here and you can see these kind of lights gone down here and they're great, okay, they're illuminating just enough but definitely not anywhere else. Now over here, see these? Now, initially these kind of foray windows into nothing were a good idea, however I can't really use them now because these blinds don't really fit and I don't think I've got anything more suitable to go over them. Um, then I can have a look, but let's have a quick look around on these because I think these are going to be kind of too detailed for what I need. Just kind of loosely put it into the shape there, you'll see what I mean. Play from here. Personally, I think the best bet's just going to be getting rid of these and replacing them. So I'm going to get rid of these. Outside the window, you can obviously see the um, other parts in there, that's a large chamber for example, and the windows were put in it at the time because these were all standalone and then it used to let light in using the um, basically the daylight system for this. Now I'm going to go to my assets and I'm just going to change this for 400 by 400. If you're wondering why I'm just doing it this way, it's basically because these are good, I like these assets. Yeah, you see. I can just go down here and just select all these. So if I just select all of them, a little tip just to increase the speed of your workflow. There we go. And then as long as I've got this selected, I can right click them and just replace actors with. There we go. Now obviously I'm gonna need the wood. And I'm using the walnut floor polished. <laughs> Why not? So I can either just drag them individually or I can choose to um, 
select them all and then just drag the material to the material slot. And obviously depending on how many materials are on the things that you selected, you get the option to replace one or replace all and so on. Okay, let's have a look down here. Now, this bit I'm going to keep because we've got this kind of crossover that you tend to get sometimes in institutions. But at the same time, let's have a look at this. I want to make sure that the player is not going to get confused by stuff they see. I think, to be honest, being able to see a bit of mountain out the window might hurt, but it's a broken mountain, which is the problem. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 10, and I'm going to duplicate it, so I'm just on that shift and alt and dragging it. And just about there, and then drag it up one. Okay, because I don't want this kind of overlapping that we've got going on here. Right. It's kind of come down here, you can see. Okay, you can't see it from this side, but up here you definitely can. So yeah, I'm going to bring this across. And there we go. Now, if I'm down here, as you can see, I can't see that. So that's perfect. Okay, now, <coughs> my lighting along here. Little errors in here, and I'm going to kind of fix them up soon. So let's get rid of this chair at the moment because I don't think I need it. I haven't got around to dressing in this area yet, but that'll happen once I've got the lights in because obviously it's a more complicated piece. Uh, let's see. Actually, now I'm going to keep those two in because I really like those. I don't know, they give it a little bit of character, just having a pot plant, three chairs. Okay, um, the lighting going along the side then, so I'm going to go to my clinic house, let's, let's have a look at my lamp collection. And I just need something, probably floor based and not too modern. The Japanese lamps that I was using, they're beautiful, they're kind of not what I'm looking for here. I think something more like this Greek torch would be ideal. Now. Let me have a look at this. So I am going to edit my blueprint and open my blueprint editor and that will show me the basic makeup of this in the viewport. So down here, I believe that's our default scene route. And then up here, we have our light. It has an intensity of two and a half thousand and an attenuation of 250. So, I'm going to dupe that for myself. So intensity is going to be for that 2500. I'm going to make my 2000. Light color, it's default. Attenuation, it's going to be 250. Okay, and then there's anything else I need to copy really. Uh, size and everything seems okay. So there we go. That's my my own general kind of purposes. Right, let's let auto save, save, update packages. Ooh, you know, 24 minutes into being live, 28 minutes into being live, marvellous. Just want to get somewhere. Okay, now I'll close this down because I didn't need to change it. And I shall get that. Now, this was BP Greek Torchier. So these are the Torchier parts. Is that the Greek one? No, that's the Greek one. I was thinking. Okay, so I'll put those there. Now, inside it, I am going to put the bulb. So right click, place actor, point light. Now, again, remember this can't be a blueprint at all. It's a shame, but it can't because basically it'll break. So I'm going to put that about there. Okay, and that way it will light things. And I'll change the intensity to about 2000. That's way too bright. Attenuation radius, remember, is 250. So that brings it right in. Maybe 350, let's have a look. I think 250 is actually going to work okay. Um, I don't really think I need to change these. But uh, now I'll keep them as they were. 
okay and that has to be static now I'm going to select all the parts that make up oops not you all the parts that make up this lamp so uh, so that's the body the glass the supports There's the glass, there's the body, there's the supports, there's the body part, there's the bulb. Control and G. Okay, because now we have our lamp. And now this means that we will be able to place it. Right about there, I think we'll do. And have them as close together or as far apart as you want. Just remember, obviously, like complicated lighting. I think I'll have them two apart, and that way we can have something different in between them. Okay, and maybe just one at the end here. We want the lights to be a nice point of focus. Now let's see how high these lights, these lamps are. Make sure they're not the wrong scale for the end user. No, that seems okay. I mean, we don't need millions of them, we just need enough really to kind of light out this scene. Uh, as usual, anyone on Twitch is being silent as a mouse for fear of upsetting anybody. Come on, Twitch. I've seen channels where people are busy throwing up pictures and knobs and all sorts, and what do we get? Just quiet, polite people, honestly. There we go. There's no such thing as a bad question or a bad comment. It's just bad people. <laughs> that sounded great, didn't it? It's like proper t shirt material. Okay, so I'm duplicating this for every second piece, like so. Okay. Then down here where this is. I haven't decided if this is where it'll stay. I think I'm going to move it right into the corner here, actually. I quite like that. And then I've got this like space here next to it. And we've got this kind of book thing going on, which is cool. Definitely cool. Now, a quick look at this. Don't quit look at something. Merge actors. Hmm. Okay, let me go into my maps. No, my clinic. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these, okay? And I'm going to place them into my clinic assets meshes and these will become books one just want to see what it makes of them yeah it's only merged as one book so it hasn't merged the complete row unfortunately which is a damn shame I was kind of hoping it would This is, still a this is still a blueprint. I'll come back to that because there are ways of uh, reconverting this into a static mesh. So I would like to do that. Let's delete that for the moment. Goodbye. Okay, now we've got some chairs going down the side here. What we don't have is paintings. So, front P for paintings. And get my picture frame, which is there. And I'm going to make it quite large. Picture frame doth maketh the wall. Now, if I just bring this down to one. There we go. And I need to make a, probably a new material for this at some point. Let's have a look. And that's such bright, and I could probably do more dark brown for this. 
So, create my material instance. I'm going to change it to dark underscore. If I can get it. Now, have a look at this. I think it was the tint that I need to change on this one. Let's have a quick look. Actually, I think it's going to stay the way it is for the time being. Okay, now I'm going to continue moving them across. It's best to give the uh, player a wee something to look at. Now, I'm not going to put these directly under the lamp side because the lamp is going to wash these out like you would believe. See? But it won't wash them out on there. Now, again, these are going to be identical for the time being. I haven't been just scanning all the pictures in. But they will be in the scene. built these lanterns so that's going to make things kind of a bit easier in just a minute. Because I'm going to drag some lanterns over there onto this footway. Okay, so I need to make obviously the make easier to touch more nervous about things. And just be careful when I come in on it, just to make sure it's not intersecting with anything it should not be. Especially down there at the bottom. People notice this sort of thing, not just me, you know, other people. Okay, now I'm going to bring this across. Okay, that's good. And maybe one for the middle. It just depends. I don't know if we can get past it or not. That's kind of important. Um, the capsule only has a certain amount of height. So it's kind of important to make sure we can get past it. Although, what was I looking at there? Hello, what are you? Tiled. Tut tut. I think what I'll do is I'll move this one across as well, and that should illuminate over here. Plus, going nice and close to this should give a tiny bit of uh, claustrophobia because that's going to be quite close. Now, bear in mind I can't animate any of these lights um, at all, so. Now I have these set up at the same distance as that one. This is going to give me a chance to check out the ceiling soon. Ignore that because there's no light there anymore. Obviously that's just that's just picking that up from uh, the old previous lighting calculations. But overall, I think that's not bad. We're getting to a point now where it's time to do a bit of saving. Just going to make sure that there is parts of this are all okay. Let's see how it looks from my play from here. Got twelve thousand unbuilt objects. Some nice big chandeliers up there. Now that see that uh, yeah I don't like that. So lit put one lit. 
it's the most minor of niggles, as they say, but at the same time, I'm having an area separated off. I don't want that kind of barrier there, because I know it's going to be visible to the end user. I'd rather didn't have to see it. So let's see what we can do. If I don't, we'll see it through the floor. See there? Okay, so it's important. Now, not you. Got a rough idea of lengths and things through this. Okay, so I know now that this can only be like 50% of its overall length. Let's see how badly it squashes the marble texture. Quite badly. But I knew it was going to be so. The main goal is that, you know, as long as I can deceive the end user, it will be fine. Okay, uh, turn this over. so I can see where the shadows are, otherwise there's going to be issues. As you can see it's a little bit too far there. Now let's have a look up here and make sure we don't have any Z depth fighting. I can't see any, but that doesn't mean there isn't any. And I'm going to change the length again to 1. And change this to 10. And I'm going to fit these together way more accurately. Like so. Obviously, this one's overlap is <laughs> too short, so I'm going to bring this and this over. Like so, just to put it in again, just being careful where I possibly can. Now, trick is I need to increase the Z. looking for ways to avoid getting too much of an error on our mesh. Now you can see there, I have to bring these in to it because I've got a slight lip. So just to change this to one. There. Okay, and that's worked. So now we have this lip going up here. Um, no, I'm not sure what the purpose of this kind of hanging gantry gallery will be, but uh, I'm sure it'll come up with something. And I may yet decide to put something underneath it as well, I haven't really decided. Now, over here, where these are, I have considered putting some curtains in place to just kind of soften it a bit. Um, but I'm not sure, so what I'm probably going to do is do build. Let's see how the lighting comes out from this. Um, I have a slight regret that this chandelier here is going to be a teeny bit low, obviously close in on this side, but I'll probably get around that. The gantry is supposed to be high up. I 
Oh nice, it gives it a kind of collegiate look, which is kind of what I was looking for. I may decide to put wood crisscrossing across the top, although if I do that will lower the height of the chandeliers maybe by about 5 inches. So I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see how the ceiling comes out. I mean it wouldn't be one solid piece of marble anyway, that's not how these work. So that's something to think of. Okay, I'm going to save this. And with that work done, um, I've been streaming for about 45 minutes, which is cool. I'm probably going to go and get myself a coffee because I'm going to have to hit the bake button and get all this built up. Uh, I'm going to have to start looking into an Amazon distributed build system. I'm sure there's such a thing. So I'll just let my save go on. I can work on some wood stuff, I think. Not real stuff, not game stuff. Right. I'll do a backup once I've done a build. So. I'll let me work it out at the minute. I think it's mid. Yeah, good build. Let me get a shed load of arrows up. I'll live with it. And this will take about an hour, maybe two hours, when I'll have to do something else. Marvellous. So in the meantime, I am going to well look at that you see, should I do? I am going to go make a coffee. So you guys take it easy and I shall be streaming again real soon. Till then, TT.